Tomorrow is a big day, and it's a big day for a couple of reasons. First, we've got the Shanghai upgrade for Ethereum, which allows people to unstake their Ethereum, which they've been doing for almost two years now. And then also we're going to get some CPI numbers out, which will probably affect the Fed Reserve in their meeting, which happens in May. So we're going to talk about that and then what I'm going to personally do to hedge my bet. So we're talking about, first of all, is the Shanghai upgrade. Now, if you're not familiar with that, that's what's going to allow everybody to unstake their Ethereum. Everybody's able to start staking their Ethereum uh, in late 2020. Isn't that crazy? It seems like it was just yesterday that actually happened. So they're able to actually stake their Ethereum. Nobody knew when they were able to unstake. It was just blind faith that they did it. And they're going to be rewarded, which will be tomorrow on April 12th. So the big questions everybody asking is, okay, what well, is it going to dump tomorrow? First of all, I have no crystal ball. But we can take a look at some data just to see where things are actually at. And we take a look at Glassnode. There is the ETH 2.0 deposits realized price, which is in uh, red. ETH price is in black and ETH realized price in blue. And then the staked ETH unrealized profit and loss, which you can see just looks like uh, the upticks in uh, yellow there. Now, what are those? So the realized price for the Ethereum network in blue, this captured the average price at which the entire ETH supply last moved on chain. The realized price for proof of stake deposits captures the average deposit price for all staked ETH. And the aggregate unrealized profit and loss calculates the difference between realized price and the spot multiplied by total ETH stake. So we can just see right here that in between, this is our price point. And what is that price point for when people will roughly be in profit? 2,136. So we can see that back in the day, in 2021, people were massively in profit uh, because of Ethereum uh, going almost actually over 4,000. Now, where are we at? Well, unfortunately, we're at $1,909. So are people going to sell off like people talk about? Yeah, potentially. Maybe people like to take losses. I have no idea. But in all honesty, I don't, I'm not too massively concerned with it. So I'm just going to wait to see what happens and see if there's a big sell-off or not. Uh, me personally, uh, there's been reports, and this is actually from the Ethereum Foundation, where they say, look, even though the, Ethereum the uh, Shanghai upgrade comes in, that does not mean that everybody's going to be able to sell off or unstake at once. It's going to actually take weeks. So for the people who are desperately waiting for a sell-off, could happen. I just don't really see it happening uh, majorly. But let me know what you think about that in the comment section. I will be waiting to see what happens and also for the CPI numbers. And then before we uh, move on, I just want to show everybody a, a quick tip and trick using CoinGecko. You can use this at uh, coinmarketcap.com. If you want to see how you're doing as far as like if, if Bitcoin, if you're bleeding against Bitcoin, if, if Bitcoin is outperforming your alts, you know, it, uh, in the upper right-hand corner, where it's got, uh, it says English and USD right here, right there. You can click on USD and put it into anything that you want to do to compare it uh, for the price action. So if you pick Bitcoin, you can see if things are bleeding against Bitcoin. We can see that uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin against Bitcoin is obviously 0%. But Ethereum, Tether, USD coin, XRP, Cardano, Doge, Lido, Polygon, they're all bleeding against Bitcoin for the for the majority. Now, Solana is the exception. Congratulations, all you Solana holders. Big news about uh, that new phone that's going to be rolled out. I put my money down. I'd like to see what happens with that. But a very few actually do well against Bitcoin so far. 1.9% for Aptos holders. Congratulations. And uh, you can just take a look and see uh, everything that's out there. Uh, that's uh, bleeding against Bitcoin and go all the way through. I just found it uh, a little bit of interesting, very easy to use and free. So check that out. And also, uh, speaking of Bitcoin, I will remind everybody that uh, sometimes uh, the tortoise, the tortoise wins the race and it's just slow goes the boat. And what I'm talking about is, did you know that about a month and a half ago, uh, there's this guy named Jim Cramer. I don't know if you know that guy, but uh, he told everybody to sell their Bitcoin. And he said, I don't believe in it. And it's ridiculous anybody should, and they should get out now. Well, how that has that price done in the last month and a half? Well, in all honesty, the 5th of March and before, 23,000. And now we're at 30,222. So uh, uh, just because the pundits and, and the people who shout the loudest aren't always the ones that are correct. Anyhow, what do you think about that in the comments section? That'll be spicy. And then... Uh, 
To finish up, we know that this is a, is a pretty big week. CPI, Shanghai upgrade, FOMC meeting, Thursday PPI, and, and Friday Q1 earnings. So a lot of things are going on in the background. The CPI numbers do come out, but we won't get a Fed meeting uh, until May. So the last one was March 21st, 22nd. The next one will be May 2nd and 3rd, where they'll probably decide to uh, raise rates. But I will just say that it's amazing to me how much the Fed has telegraphed they're going to raise rates. And uh, it's just amazing how the market's like, no, you're not going to do it. This is, uh, this is from Jeff Bianco, uh, Bianco Research. And he talks about what the Fed says versus what the market is priced in. So the Fed's like, look, as of April, here's the, here's the rate, 4.8. We're going to probably raise the rates in May, just so you know. And the entire market's like, whatever, we're not going to listen to you. And I think that's just a mistake. I mean, I could be wrong, but I, I think that that's where we're going. And if we take a look at, of course, the CPI numbers, I mean, CPI has come in hot uh, time over time. 12, 12 months uh, from the last one, we're down to 6%. Gotcha. But if we take a look at just the core consumer price index, the CPI numbers, it's just going up and up and up and up. And if we take a look at the, just the regular consumer price index itself and we uh, zoom in as best we can, we can see that you know, the numbers keep going up and the Fed is battling it. But again, as much as they're battling and much as the things that are going on, I still think uh, the CPI, who knows if it comes in hot or not or, or at expectations, but if it comes in, at expectations where they think it's going to happen, they're still going to raise rates. And here's what we have as far as the target rate probabilities for 3rd of May. Yeah. So people still think there's like a quarter of people are like, they're not going to raise. And now three quarters of people say, yeah, they probably will. But it's amazing to me just how much people just don't price that in and where things are going. Me personally, I think it is. And again, the way that I'm going to play it is very simple. It's the same way I played this, every, this game every so often. When these numbers come out, Shanghai upgrade comes out, I just sit and watch. And uh, I just say, well, if there's a mass sell-off for Ethereum, well, great, then the price drops and my, my daily dollar cross average of Ethereum, I just hold off on that to see what happens in three or four hours or so. And then if it starts to tumble, well, I just pick it up as it tumbles down. Same thing with CPI numbers. The CPI number is gonna come out tomorrow, 8.30 a.m. Um, that'll be Eastern Standard Time. So I wait for those numbers to come out. If they're at expectations, great nothing will happen i'll just let the uh my dollar cost average hit it'll buy if they come out hot and that's a very bearish indicator inflation is going up very simple i wait three or four hours watch the market tumble and then dollar cost average it happens but again that's what i'm doing i can't tell you what to do i'm not your dad or a financial advisor do whatever you want but that's it for today so look if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about are very time sensitive. And again, this is not a set it and forget it. Try to keep yourself updated as much as possible. But thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.